This week is National Infertility Awareness Week. It impacts one in six people globally, including some families here in the borderline. I spoke with some mothers who shared their story of resiliency. It was the best birthday gift that I got since 2017, finding out that I was expecting a baby. Carla Lohan's journey to becoming a mother wasn't as easy as she imagined. She and her husband got married in 2014 and expected to become pregnant shortly after, but they were unsuccessful. Both underwent tests and infertility treatments. Loved ones began to ask questions. Are you guys okay? Like, how many kids and why not? I, like, someone else already had a baby and someone else already had a baby and your cousin and your sister and you. And it's like all this and it's like, you don't know the history behind it. She says she felt pressured. She lost confidence. Luhan eventually stopped treatment and used that time to focus on herself and her husband. Shortly after, in 2017, she got pregnant. I remember hearing my my baby's heartbeat, and it was it was it was just the best moment ever. And just to know a few weeks after that I was going to be that I was expecting a baby girl, it was even the best thing ever. Two years later, they found out they were pregnant again without undergoing any treatment. Luhan thought her family was complete, but they later discovered they were expecting surprise baby number three, Marcelo. He is Marcelo. Say Marcelo. Her message is simple. Most importantly, not, not lose faith. Dr. Dorvina Hawkins-Cook says most people assume infertility only affects women. She says it's actually men too. According to the CDC, about one in five women are unable to get pregnant after one year of trying. She says that number is slightly higher in El Paso. A lot of the times people just can assume that they can get pregnant and then it's very just heart-wrenching when they start to try and then they don't succeed or when they're trying for several months and months and months and then it just doesn't happen and it makes them almost feel like they're a failure. And they should not feel that way because we have so many treatment options. Ashley Barrett is another borderline mother who sought treatment options after facing infertility. It's just something that we don't talk about and I know at the beginning I felt a bit ashamed just because I felt like why isn't this not happening to me? Yeah. And to trust the process. Barrett and her husband finally got a positive pregnancy test before the COVID pandemic. Now she's expecting her second child. Barrett wants her story to be a symbol of hope. I'm hoping that this will help other people and help other women. Both want other borderline moms to know they are not alone. I hear you, I feel you, I hug you, and I respect that. And we'll make sure to upload this story on our website, kv.com, if you're looking for more information.